breaking news from Buckingham Palace in London. Let's head to RTV News 24 for more information. issue of concern was noted. Subsequent diagnostic tests have identified a form of cancer. His Majesty has today commenced a schedule of regular treatments, during which time he's been advised by doctors to postpone public-facing duties. Throughout this period, His Majesty will continue to undertake state business and official paperwork as usual. The King is grateful to his medical team for their swift intervention, which was made possible thanks to his recent hospital procedure. He remains wholly positive about his treatment and looks forward to returning to full public duty as soon as possible. And that statement concludes by saying that His Majesty has chosen to share his diagnosis to prevent speculation and in the hope that it may assist public understanding for all those around the world who are affected by cancer. Well, that statement just through from the palace in the last few moments. Our royal correspondent, Daniela Relf, is here with me. And that note of optimism within that statement, Daniela, but nonetheless, a huge shock. Yeah, on a personal level, clearly for the King, for the Queen and for the wider royal family, this will be a shock. Coming so early on, just 17 months into his reign, he is now facing such a serious health challenge. It was exactly a week ago today, this afternoon, that I was outside the hospital watching as the King left. Uh, he'd been there for three nights being treated for that benign prostate condition. He was actually on reflection in hospital a little longer than we had anticipated. We thought he would perhaps be out after one or two nights, but he stayed in for the whole weekend for three nights. And we now know that it was during that stay in hospital that this cancer was discovered. A secondary condition was found and that's when it was spotted. So uh, clearly a, a difficult period of time now for the King and the wider royal family. He'll be stepping back from all of his royal duties, bar some of the admin of royalty. He'll be able to deal with the red boxes. We're told that he will carry on hopefully having his audience with the Prime Minister each week and also taking part in the Privy Council meetings. But he's going to step back. We're going to see more of the Prince of Wales, his son William, and of his wife, Queen Camilla. They will be picking up some of his duties. But for now, he is going to focus on his treatment and his recuperation, that treatment that started today. Yes, and, and, and just a a slightly further thought about the positivity because we saw him with the Queen very, very recently, walking around, waving, waving to the crowds, waving to the cameras. That's right. We saw the King yesterday on his Sandringham estate in Norfolk. Uh, we, he was on his feet walking to church from the main house at Sandringham up to the main church, Mary Magdalene Church. That in itself is around a 10 minute walk. So he was well enough to do that. Uh, we saw him there with the Queen. He saw the photographers. He waved as he saw them. But he came back to London today to start his treatment for that cancer. And in terms of the workload, uh, you mentioned some royal duties will pass uh, to, to Queen Camilla and to his son, uh, to the heir. And of course, uh, 
health issues with the Princess of Wales as well. So another element of the royal family also dealing with an awful lot on the health front. Yeah, this has been a tricky month for the royal family. There's no getting away from that. Uh, Prince William had scaled back his own diary to help look after his wife while she was in hospital. And now that she's back home in Windsor recuperating, uh, we are due to see him for the first time since the 11th of January. This Wednesday, he's carrying out two engagements. That's the first time we've seen him since his wife was unwell. But clearly going forward with both his wife and his father now out of the picture, he is going to have to pick up some of those royal engagements. All right, Daniela, I know you'll stay with us. Our health editor, Hugh Pym, is with me. Uh, scant details, of course, as we would expect, Hugh, but that, that note of optimism and that interesting, striking last sentence of the statement from the palace in the last few minutes, that awareness on the part of the king that people around the world deal with cancer every day, and he is now one of those. Well, indeed, Jane, all we know is that the king came down from Sandringham to London today and began his treatment as an outpatient. We don't know precisely where. And according to the palace, he continues to be at home in London this evening. Now, we don't know what form of treatment this involves. We know it's not prostate cancer. It was discovered in the course of treatment for his benign prostate enlargement. And prostate cancer was ruled out at the time. And it's been ruled out now, according to the palace. But we don't know what form of cancer it is. And it's still not uh, entirely clear how it was discovered. Was it through scans or some other form of examination in the course of that treatment for his prostate condition? And yes, uh, according to the palace, the king remains wholly positive about his treatment. And he's chosen to make his diagnosis public uh, because he was very keen uh, that the public should know because he is a patron of cancer charities and he certainly believes in as much information as possible because when his prostate condition was reported, the NHS reported a considerable number of extra calls coming through to various helplines with others just taking on board what potential risks they may have. Yes, and... We have just passed World Cancer Day and, and the NHS was uh, grateful putting out all those details about the awareness raising that came from the king being so open about what we are told is a, was, a, was a benign treatment and, and something that millions of men get and, and was treated very successfully, we are told. Yes, indeed. And I think, I think the point is cancer, the risk does in, uh, increase with age. That is a known fact. And... Certainly awareness is very, very important. Any uh, cancer specialist will tell you that. And certainly what the King has done today with this statement by making it public certainly should raise awareness. Mm. Hugh, thank you for now. Hugh Pym, our health.